have a definition as to what makes a great device, and that is that no matter how many times you pass it, every time you pass it, you want to do it again. This is Contraptions A to Z. I joke that one of my jobs is, is helping to create the next generation of tinkers. Can you find that handle? You know, human beings are great visual learners. And that's really what this is. We're showing them gears and levers. It's a vocabulary of objects. We sat around the dining room table just brainstorming through what every letter could be. This is the cuckoo clock here. And kids. They work everything from the other side. I went to the trouble of making a clear plexi turntable so you actually see the bearings and stuff in here. A, and A is for antique apple peeler. I have to explain that this will have a plexiglass case all the way around it, but the visitors uh, at any time will be able to turn all three of these devices. It's just great to listen to the sounds of these things make. This is the uh, undulating umbrella piece. And uh, I like to think of it as slow fireworks. Contraptions, its bottom line is to show kids mechanisms of all different sorts. Our world is full of mechanical things that are very useful to us. But so many of them are hidden in black boxes that we don't get to see them. This is frog flipping fry pan flip, fling slapjacks faultlessly. I know, it's really cool. I like how it flips. The watchdog, I mean, watches are amazing, mechanical watches. And we have working examples here. This is a hand crank hedge clipper from the turn of the century. We have uh, our first graders testing it out. And they're very much interested in the mechanism, especially since it's down at their level. A lot of what Contraptions A to Z is about is about the science of things, but it's also really about art. This is a classic example. Nervous Nelly, I just love her. What's really nice, you know, kids always turn mechanisms up to the high speeds, you know, they, and this is one that rewards you for going slow. is for poetry machine. And visitors turning the crank, crank it around, and they get a new sentence every time. And it takes a couple hundred turns of the crank before you get the same sentence again.
I think the favorite thing in the exhibit, my favorite thing, is the drum machine. And wherever you lift a switch, it will play that instrument on as the drumsticks are coming by. And one of the beautiful things that you see with this drum machine is how people use it. I mean, you really want to create not just individual experiences, but group experiences. And I love that. It fits the definition of a contraption. I looked this up in the Oxford English Dictionary and hit pay dirt. A contraption is a device more ingenious than practical. And at 900 pounds, uh, I would say that this uh, certainly fits the bill of, of uh, more ingenious than practical. This is a 1940s Philco uh, radio and record player that will be uh, J in the contraption alphabet. Jitterbugs driving to a jukebox. K is for kitchen clutter. So we're going to make a piece that has a uh, this nice set. Uh, this is made from number 10 food can wheels. And then through a series of chains, we'll make all this kitchen clutter clatter. This thing, it reminds me exactly of a T-Rex. I love this business for him, you know? We get to do things for the public. We get to be teachers and engineers and psychologists. We've got to figure out how people approach these things. What hooks them in and holds their attention. And uh, I just I absolutely love it. And as I was building this exhibit, in, in many ways, I mean, it's, a, it's an exhibit about mechanical things. And in that sense, it's very much a science exhibit. But, as I build this and I look at it, I have to say that Contraptions A to Z is really the art exhibit that teaches science. And I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Thanks. Okay, I get to play with a drum machine now. Okay.